What's up everyone, Hobo Handliner here. The fishing's been a little rough. It's rainy, um, not very easy to film, um, and the bite has been slow when I have gone out. But I wanna do um, a video for you guys regardless. And this one I think is actually gonna be pretty cool because this is gonna be a gear review from a fisherman's perspective of what I consider to be the best everyday carry or EDC um, that you can have on you at all times. And that's the Leatherman Wave Plus. Now I'm not gonna be the guy who tells you about price and the exact specs and how much it weighs and the dimensions. You can find those videos um, pretty much anywhere on YouTube. They're all over the place. This is their number one selling uh, multi-tool from the Leatherman brand. What I am gonna talk about, however, is just how versatile this thing is, how often I use it, in what scenarios, what it's good for, and why I consider it to be pretty much the best piece of carry equipment that I have on me. So let's get right into it. Um, as you all know, here it is, the Leatherman Wave Plus. It has a few differences from the normal Leatherman Wave. I chose this one really for one main reason, and that is the wire cutters are replaceable. Now, the reason I chose this, which proved to be a great reason um, very early on into ownership, I ended up having to cut a fish hook to get it removed from something. And the fish hook was actually a lot harder than I realized, and it, it just nicked up the edge of those cutters. Now, on a normal model, those aren't replaceable. So if I had damaged it, you know, tough luck, I guess, right? Well, thankfully with these, these replaceable ones, they're only like 10 bucks. And I'm gonna be able to replace these uh, when I order them or when my fiance orders them for Christmas or whatever. And I don't have to worry about permanent damage that I can't fix. So that right there was one of the main reasons I bought this model because I knew the potential with what I do and how I use this tool for those in specific to be damaged. So that was one of the main selling points. Um, the other one would be the bits. They're all replaceable as well. So on, well, on the two-sided one inside, that one there, that's replaceable. So that's a Phillips and a flathead. But also the, let's see if I can find it. Here we go. The eyeglass sized bit driver. Another reason why I bought this that I can use to fix my glasses, which I wear 24 seven. So if I were ever to damage them in the field or need to do a DIY repair, that is extremely handy. Um, obviously the scissors and the knife blade come incredibly handy um, for everything I do. I find myself opening up the tool to cut fishing line with one hand to pull out either the serrated knife blade or the regular knife blade. But that's just because since I fish with a hand reel, my left hand is usually occupied and it's nice that I can just pull this out and cut some line with my right hand off of the belt sheath. I can just pull it out, boom, right there. The scissors are extremely handy though for when I am going out to the location to fish and I'm setting up, let's say, a Carolina rig or whatever, it's nice to be able to cut those tail ends of the fishing line off um, real quickly and not have to mess around with trying to pinch it and cut it with a knife, you know? So um, those are the main tools on this that I, I use. There are uh, a few other tools that are handy to have. The other one that I really like though, so if you guys haven't noticed from some of my catch and cook videos, I like to go a little bit more primitive when I go out and make a fire. I like using a ferro serum rod or a ferro rod as most people call them. So I'll get like my bundle of tinder. And I like using the back of the Leatherman saw against my ferro serum rod. And a lot of bushcrafters and people in the, the field, will all, they all swear by that 90 degree spine on the back of the Leatherman saw. They, they rip sparks off of a ferro rod so well there's nothing better that I have found, in my opinion, than the back of a Leatherman saw. And that's really cool. Um, the saw blade, obviously, if you wanna make little shavings, or um, I've noticed if you, if you don't have much dry wood to make a fire, 
you can just, instead of using your knife blade to make a fuzz stick, you can just take like a rock or whatever as a way to catch your shavings from sawing a branch and just make a pile of little tiny sawdust shaving sized pieces of wood. And then you can light those directly, which is really cool. Um, I said I wouldn't talk about the cost, but obviously any of you guys know having a lifetime warranty and, and just the pure versatility of these kind of negates the cost in my opinion. I've had this thing for over a year. I've had other Leatherman models, but this is my favorite. Um, and it's just, I use it every single day. Um, actually today after work, this is not fishing related, but today after work, um, I took a coworker to get a battery to replace his car with and he didn't have a ton of tools and I was able to help him replace the battery and disconnect the terminals and reconnect them with uh, the rounded part of the pliers there, which I thought was really cool, you know? Um, so just me being a full-time working guy um, and I don't like having a ton of gear because I don't have a ton of money for extra gear. I like having a one tool option. I know some people don't, but I like having this instead of a pocket knife and another tool and a tool bag. I just like carrying it all right on my hip with this guy. You know, a little over a hundred bucks and it covers everything that I feasibly need. And I don't carry self-defense items on me. Um, I'm not one of those guys to carry a, a gun on me 24 seven or a tactical knife. I, you know, I'm never gonna use them. This, however, I use it all the time, both at work, at home, and in the field while I'm fishing, which is obviously what my entire channel is based on. So apart from the actual hand reel um, that I use in my videos and all the stuff I do outside, this, as far as usability for everything, this is my number one recommended piece of everyday carry gear, especially for guys out there fishing or in a moist and uh, high humidity climate. Definitely, I've, I've never had a Leatherman rust on me, ever. Um, I'm not careless with them, but I still, I've gotten them damp. I've had to wash them after filleting tons of trout and crappie, which by the way, that's another thing. You wouldn't think that uh, this knife blade would be that good at food preparation, but it really doesn't do too bad. I have gutted and filleted so many fish with this. And then what I like to do to resharpen it, to get it really, really sharp, I just take the bottom of a coffee mug and I, I strop on that ceramic edge, that ring that is on your the bottom of like a regular kitchen coffee mug. And this thing sharpens super, super quick. And like I said, it's not the worst blade for food prep. I mean, it'll definitely get it done in a pinch. All my trout, all my fish in my videos that I keep have been cleaned with this. Well, for the most part, I'm sure there's some that I've used uh, a fillet knife for, but as far as on the field, if I wanna clean them before I get to the house or before I put them in my car, I always use this and then I throw away the guts in like a, a trash bag or a grocery bag, whatever. So that knife, that knife blade, super easy to sharpen and pretty, pretty decent considering its size. And even with guts getting down in like the pivot point and in the, the joints of this thing, I wash it under hot water and um, it dries off pretty good. A few times, I wasn't sure if I was able to get all the moisture out. And what I ended up doing was putting my oven on the lowest setting, so like 150 degrees propping the door open and putting this thing on the oven rack and letting it air dry for about an hour and it completely dried it up and it's not hot enough at that temperature to ruin the temper or the hardness of your tools. It's nothing to worry about there. So super versatile, easy to clean, keep it oiled, you know, every few months, carry it on your hip and you won't regret it. We're coming up on the 10 minute mark, but just to sum things up, if you don't have one, even if it's not this exact brand, but for me, this exact brand and model, carry a multi-tool, guys. I mean, why not? It, you're gonna use it more often than you think. I know I certainly have. This is all just my opinion. I'm not trying to sell you on anything. I'm not sponsored by them. But um, you can't go wrong with one of these. So that's my 
no uh, BS review of the Leatherman Wave Plus. I hope you guys enjoy this. Sorry that the fishing has been a little slow. Um, I promise I'm going out tomorrow, so I should be able to upload a video tomorrow on the fishing aspect. But I hope this guy's, or I hope this convinced you guys as to why these are um, just so useful, in my opinion. Anyways, I will catch you guys soon. I appreciate the views, the likes, um, all you subscribers. We are really close to hitting that thousand subscriber mark. So if you guys could just keep the views coming, that uh, helps me out in the long run. So check these out. I really appreciate it. I love mine. I hope you guys love yours if you already have them. And I know you'll love them in the future if you decide to get one. Anyways, I'm the Hobo Handliner. Appreciate you guys. And I'll catch you in the next video. Take it easy.